Hello, Steve Kramer, UNC Greensboro Business Librarian with a short introduction to the Sage Data Database. We have, to, have had this for a few years, but we've just added the premium data sets, which makes this particularly useful now. It used to be called Data Planet, and there's a good chance in this short video I'm going to get that name wrong, so forgive me if I call it the old name. Uh, you can see how I'm accessing this under my markets data and mapping box, available on many department guides we have. And let me just jump in and show you example data. Let's say I want some Tesla ownership data. So keyword search Tesla. And then I'm gonna look for a consumer data set among the many choices that may come up. And here's one, automobiles consumer behavior 2022 from a data set called Easy. And I see total ownership in the United States, that's fine, but let's change it to states. I wanna rank the states and let's do percentage because otherwise California is always, always number one because we have so many people in an undo number. Uh, and there we go. So notice New Jersey, Maryland actually are, have the highest ownership by percentage of Tesla. So though California is pretty high too. Um, options, you can make maps, do a pie chart. If it's a certain kind of data, you could do a trend over time. This data is not structured that way, so that's not an option here. I can display the table with the actual numbers in it, download any of this into a spreadsheet or a PDF, et cetera. Citation tools, APA, download or download to Sotero if you use Sotero. If you want to embed this into a presentation, that's what this link is for. And then copy the link into my clipboard and then paste it into embed it into some other kind of file format like PowerPoint or Google Slides, for example. Lower down, details about the data set. So it tells you more about Easy and this consumer behavior data set that Easy creates. And there's a link to DOI if you want to get that link for a APA citation that you do yourself. Um, and so that's one quick example of what data can look like inside this product. Back on the homepage, notice the subjects covered. Basically all social sciences, business, for example, some natural science too. And you of course can browse using this, this, app, this access mode. Or you can also browse by source. If you happen to know what source you're looking for, you may not, but if you do, then either in this point or back on the homepage, you can browse by source and see the mixture of governmental, NGO, and for-profit market research companies too, such as Claritas happen to be in here. And there's a lot of things in here, and you may not necessarily know what all these data sets are for. So keyword searching is your friend. Go ahead and do that. Um, but let me know if, I, if you want to support. For example, Cycle does financial behavior modeling. So data about how people spend their money and save money and use e-commerce tools, et cetera. It's good for that, among other things. And finally, you can also do more than one data point at a time. So for example, in the news category here, I'm going to control click unemployment claims and Dow Jones Industrial Average. And then we can see the data. I'm going to zoom in on the pandemic years here a bit more. And there we go. So that's an example of just control clicking to add more than one variable at a time. Uh, if you need help with this, there's data basics up top, there's help, and there's me. Let me know what I can do to support you as you work on this. And otherwise, thank you for watching and good luck with your research project.